Now, it's not interesting if the dice are the same all the time. So why don't we add another statement here? You know, we can we can do something like um, we can get another dice roll and instead assign roll two to the second die. So now let's run it and see what happens. There you go, it's different. Uh, we're still missing one last thing which is the sum, the label right here. So I'm going to stop it. And we had already created this sum label and if you remember we need to add a property um, to our controller so that we can refer to this label. And then in our roll button clicked handler we want to add up these two numbers and display it into that label, assign that text to that label. So I'm going to go into the header file of the controller and I'm going to hold down control on my key and click that label, the sum label, and drag it into my interface to create a property for it. So I called it sum label. Now I can go back into the implementation file and down here after I show the two dice I can I can add up the two numbers. Well, uh, let's create the string of text. So the number from roll plus roll two is gonna get assigned to the percentage D and the text will read sum is, you know, whatever the sum is. Um, so now we assign that text to our label, which we can reference via the property we just created. And voila, this should work. Let's run it. And there it is. So that was a pretty simple app. I think it does a good job of showing you the different roles. You know, for controller, the view, and the model, we used all of them today. And if you know you were lost in the Objective C or the Xcode, uh, and some of the concepts I might not have explained through the video, you can visit my blog codewithchris.com and click this green box and read these first two articles on a primer for Objective C. And if you watch the video again, uh, I think you'll understand uh, what I'm doing here. But I'm going to be following up this video with a new series introducing Objective C. So if you prefer to, you know, learn through video, then that's fine. Uh, those will be coming out. And as well as Xcode, if you are unfamiliar with the different uh, interfaces I was using and stuff like that, you can go to my blog and read Article 4 for an introduction to Xcode. Uh, but I'm going to be creating a Xcode video series as well and I'm going to be teaching you guys that through video. So, so if you guys have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below for the benefit of everyone else and I will be answering questions there. Also, you can download the source code and you can try running this project yourself. The source code is in the link in the description and all you need to do is sign up to be a member of codewithchris.com but it's free and it's going to take you less than a minute to do. So I hope that was helpful to you guys and again please let me know what you think in the comments below and I will be responding within the day. Thanks everyone. See you later. Bye.